well known that the Saturn era was a dark time for Sega. The console had trouble establishing itself against both the emerging Sony PlayStation and the Nintendo 64. The European and American markets both shunned the Saturn. However, there was one bright spot. Japan. In Japan, the Saturn was far more successful, with much higher sales of both hardware and software. There was a huge number of popular Japanese games that never saw release overseas, making the Japanese Saturn feel like an entirely different console to its American and European counterparts. There are several reasons for this, one of which is that Sega supported the Saturn in Japan with one of the best advertising campaigns gaming has ever seen. Move over Reggie, and make room Kevin Butler. There's only space for one console celebrity in this episode, and his name is Sigara Sanshiro. How's this for a character? A rugged Japanese warrior who lives in solitude on a mountain. He's a master of multiple forms of martial arts. He trains physically every day using a giant Sega Saturn that he carries around on his back. Every once in a while, this legend descends from his isolated mountain hideaway to visit the cities of Japan, where he hunts down and attacks those who dare refuse to play Sega Saturn games. Sega does not discriminate. Young or old, weak or strong, all are subject to his rage. There's also no respite. Sigata could appear at any time, in any place, even on your favorite public holiday. Despite his intense training, Sigata is still human and capable of emotions like love and empathy. But do not mistake these emotions for weakness. If you do not play the Sega Saturn, Sigata will find you. He will hurt you. He will bring you to your knees and make you promise never again to forsake your Sega overlords. The Sigata campaign was wide reaching and covered a variety of different sorts of games. Over the years that he represented the Saturn, audiences were given the opportunity to see Sigata deal with many different scenarios, including managing his own soccer team, administering questionable CPR, and laying the beat down on a club full of no good Sega ignoring punks. The ads also showed off some of Sigata's talents. For example, in an honorable fight against an almost equally strong foe, Sigata manages to get the upper hand and throw the other fighter so hard that he explodes. Sigata isn't an inhuman monster though, as is demonstrated by the ad in which he woos a beautiful girl. Don't be fooled though, this is a mere moment of respite in the otherwise harsh, brutal life of Sigata San Shiro. <laughs> Sigata became a massive celebrity in Japan, leading the charge for the Saturn in the country and even selling more than 100,000 copies of his music single. Sadly, Sigata seems to have found his end, although in the most heroic way possible. During a meeting between Sega execs that presumably birthed the Dreamcast, the enemies of Sega launched a missile at the building. Then, out of nowhere. Sigata leapt to the rescue, redirecting the rocket through a combination of superhuman physical prowess and sheer indomitable will. Forcing the rocket out into the atmosphere, Sigata died a hero's death. 
ensuring that the legacy of Sega would continue. So far, Sega has resisted the urge to resurrect Sega, leaving the character permanently tied to what many consider Sega's most costly mistake. The keen observer, however, can still find references to him in a variety of games. The most recent was in Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, where Sigurda can be seen flying past on the missile on the last lap of a particular stage. Who knows? Maybe one day when Sega announces the Dreamcast 2 with Shenmue 3 as a launch title, we'll see the return of Sega's legendary hero. Until then, we'll have to find contentment in his legacy. This episode brings us to the end of the second season of The Game Room. As before, we will have special videos being uploaded during the hiatus, and we do have another season coming in the pipeline for later in the year. So, keep an eye on the channel. And as always, please remember to like this video, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. See you for the next season.